Yes. That's the way a testament is. Down here, open this stop cock up. You can see what's going through there. Is it open? Open. Open. It was at the top of this. It should be going in. Out. Back. Not much flow. No. Huh? So Even when I was. We got 100 millimeters worth of pressure. Can you give me a stop cock? Or maybe 3cc syringe? Yes, there's not a whole lot of pressure. Oh, there's only. Well, there's 100 millimeters. We'll see. So, what are you doing? Just pulling full of that? See if it's going to work. See if it'll drop full of curve. Well, it comes to it. Not if we're going to do it. Oh, see, it's flowing like a banshee. It's flowing like crazy. Look at that. Just like a banshee. Yeah, exactly like a banshee. You've seen those before. Right? <laughs> Definitely flowing. Yes, yeah, flowing. So we're good. Okay. That's good. Use it. Let it stop there. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to print out the spider lines. And we don't want to get the heat concentrator wet until we're ready to get it wet. Before you print out the first point, do this. Is the the concentrator? Yeah, clamp out the suction line to it. Okay. Because otherwise, fluid goes in, the heat concentrator comes through it and starts leaking Pulling it, through yeah. the tubing and you lose all your prime. Yeah. Not good. So what we're going to do is print out the first line first. The bottom line of the, the cartoplegia. So the cartoplegia is running. Uh -huh. It's recirculating, right? Mm -hmm. It's recirculating back to the circuit, to the research line. And we're going to turn the first and the last stop cocks out, so tails out, okay? okay. And we'll do it at the same time. And when I do that, the fluid will come from this uh, line okay. into the stop cocks, across, back, into the, the reservoir, reservoir, okay? Gotcha. So we turn them sideways, it's done. It already did. Just that fast, all the fluid flies through. Because it's under 100 millimeters of rigor pressure, it flies through. So now what I want to do is prime out the second line to the cardioplegia line. So you turn I do that, that by turning this one off and this one tails out at the same time. Boop. And here comes the fluid, gone. So those two lines are totally primed. And now we turn both of them off at the same time and now we've primed the spider lines from the cardioplegia. Okay. Okay? They're done. So when that's done on the cardioplegia side, we can turn the cardioplegia off. Always do it in the most occlusive position. Turn the stop cock so you can't recirculate through it. Why the, I don't know why it overpressurized. It should. Oh, it's because it's non occlusive. I haven't checked the occlusion. Okay. Huh? Yeah, I haven't checked the occlusion. Well, it's weird. Usually, this is always occlusive. The way we can tell it's not occlusive is if I turn the stop cock so there's no recirc through it. It's still pushing. The pressure is going up on the cardioplegia side, and it'll go up until it's equal to the arterial side. If I turn the occlusion on this tight Until it stops, it, yeah. You know, if I tighten it up, it'll stop rising out. Zero again. There, that should stop it from rising like crazy. Sure enough, now it's not rising. Well, it's a little bit, isn't it? We'll tighten it up a bunch. We'll see what happens. Part of it, oh, another part of that is, is this is really cold. Okay. The fluid going through the circuit is really cold. And as soon as I stop the roller head from turning, the fluid in there starts warming up. When the fluid warms up, it expands, expands. and makes the pressure go up. Mm -hmm. We'll just leave it like there and, right Check there and see it. if it yeah. works. It's not loaded very well, though, is it? What do you mean? Well, see how it's, it's pulled to one side? Mm -hmm. We're going to fix that. 